I am the woodpecker today. I change my screen. If I look outside, I can see several signs of spring. Not just the buds in the trees, but also the dandelion invasion. This means that we'll open the patio screen door more often. But it's a little bit bashed. It's not really useful to keep the bugs out. But when someone has a dog, this happens quite often. I know what you're thinking. Alain, this is not a dog, it's just ugly vermin. Okay, you're right. But don't forget that I used to have real dogs. I know that this nuisance will have more trouble moving from inside to outside, but what can I say? Tough luck. The first thing I do after bringing the door inside the shop is to remove the handle. Next, we remove the piece of rubber that holds the screen in place. When it's all done, we can remove the old screen. No, I won't throw it away. It will be useful when I'll make more windows at my cottage. But the frame is awfully dirty. We need to do something. Then we can roll the new screen onto the frame. Next, I can start to mold the screen so it can fit into this channel. To do so, I need a tool like this one. One side has a wheel shaped like an A, so it can bend the screen, and the other side has a V shape so it can push the rubber in place. I begin with the top of the screen. I use the A-shaped wheel and roll it on top of the top frame channel. The screen shape is more obvious here. Then I push the rubber in place using the V-wheel. When I'm done with the top, I clamp the frame so it won't move while my helper keeps the screen stretched over the frame, so I can shape another side. Then the rubber. Personally, I find that the corners are the toughest part of the job. The roller can't roll there, so I have to use a big screwdriver to do the job. But one false move, and you end up with a hole in your brand new screen. I still have another side to finish. When I'm done, I can see that I probably stretched the rubber when I removed it. I cut the excess. The last thing to do with this screen is to cut the excess. Now, if I were a normal person, I would be finished after screwing back the handle. But if you're like me and you live with someone who loves hopeless causes, you're not done yet. You'll have to, just like me, add a vermin door. But you're lucky, it's not that difficult. You just put it where it's supposed to go, on a hard surface. Then you push the pins through the screen. Then you put the other part of the trap on top and push its pins with a mallet. The last thing to do for the vermin trap is to cut the screen around it. And don't forget to check if there's a wire sticking out. You don't want to hurt your spouse's rat. Then the door can go in place. Now the hard part, trying to teach this stupid rodent 
how to pass through this trap. If this takes as much time as it took to teach her to ring the bell, well, we'll have snow on the ground. Now it's time for you to change your patio door screen. But when you're done, don't forget to come back to the woodpecker.